What's up today, YouTube? It's Friday. It's been a day of just ups and downs, ups and downs all day long. We started out our morning with this text message that came to the business line. Look at this. This guy sent this here. Like, who does this? What? What kind of person takes time out of their day to call me fat, obese, and the rest of this gibberish in this message? Like, I don't even understand. Dude, you're watching our YouTube channel. It's entertainment. Like, I don't understand why you're taking this so personal. Other than that, today's been pretty good. Today, I've done four interviews so far. I got two more to go. And let me tell you what, I am super excited. Two of the interviews went 110% perfect. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better person to be applying. These two guys, I'm hoping I can secure this. Uh, I gotta send them an offer and uh, hopefully they agree to it. And I'll tell you what, we'll have two more great people on our team. I'm super excited. Another good thing, I just got here to the shop and we're taking delivery of something. I don't know if you got any ideas on what we'd be taking delivery of, but it's gonna bring Caleb's stress level from here down to here. So I'm pretty excited, so we're gonna wait for this and I will show you guys what we got as soon as they get here. Well everybody, we got a new skid loader today from Cord at Richie's. They're close to us. 10 minutes to Lancaster, 20 minutes to Cobb. If we got an issue, it's right there. No big deal. So we were sick of the John Deere bullshit. Decided to match it with the rest of the equipment. It's like Bobcat doesn't f around with their buckets here. 92 horse, T770. Gonna be a little bit smaller than our 333 Deere, I believe, which we ran into some issues with that machine being too big, so. Standard SCR system. Got your external ambient air temperature fans to bring in the outside air to help keep the engine compartment cool your catalyst here uh, your def tanks on the side it's like everything's pretty accessible i did opt for the additional backup camera i figured we better have one of those on a new machine do we ever have a issue with these things overheating i guess i never even realized those little bitty fans in there just because of the extra temperature with the extra exhaust tubes in sure. there. We gotta keep it a little cooler. I suppose. We got the fancy side lights up there. Got some LED lights in the front. This should be great addition to our equipment here, so. We got the salesman out of here. Get him out of here before he tries to sell me another piece of equipment. Pretty excited about this. Two years ago, we bought the mini excavator and the mini loader from Richie's. We have had a few issues with the mini loader because obviously that was a new thing from Bobcat. Anytime we've had an issue with it, they take care of us like that. No questions asked. And that is the biggest thing in our industry. We need good support for this equipment that we buy. I understand some of you guys out there might be a diehard cat or diehard John Deere, New Holland, whatever. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I've been pretty well diehard John Deere for a lot of years. That uh, 333, I've had that for five, six years. And it's been a pretty good machine. Uh, the older wheel machine those 325s that we have those are excellent um, just old workhorses the thing that I found with John Deere is the prices on parts are just crazy high it's kind of a funny story I had a brand new John Deere mini excavator ordered and it was around the time of COVID it wasn't coming in wasn't coming in wasn't coming in well it was April and it was time to get going and I ended up driving over to Richie's had no intent on buying a Bobcat and and they had that E55 sitting outside. I sat in it, looked it over. I was super impressed with it. It was actually cheaper than the John Deere and had more options. And to be quite honest with you, I've been super happy with that excavator. That thing is an absolute workhorse. A lot of my decision making into this goes, well, Bobcat's been making this stuff. Those mini excavators, they've been making those things forever. You know, in my mind, they should have a lot of that figured out by now. There should be less issues. The only thing that I changed on this was I had him put LED lights in it, the side lights, and the backup camera. Other than that, it's 
just uh, straight off the factory. It's a 2024. Pretty excited about the suspension. Those John Deere's and the Cat ones, they ride pretty rough. I've heard that these ones ride pretty well. Yeah, at first glance here, the cab feels a little bit tighter than the deer. It still feels pretty comfortable. Controls, everything here looks pretty comfortable. I know these things move back and forth. This must be the backup camera screen, which I thought that that would be like a factory thing in the display. I feel like every new machine should have a backup camera, so we went with it. Radio, heat, AC, all that good stuff. I know it's got one hell of a bucket on the front of it. It's a smaller machine than what we're used to. That 333D, that thing is just an absolute workhorse. I mean, for pushing big piles of dirt and moving big bulk material, that thing is an animal. That one has no emissions on it, and I believe it's tuned actually. You know, there's been times where we've ran into oh this machine's so big so i was okay with going down a little bit i guess this would be like one size down from that 333 track machine we're losing a little horsepower a little pushing power but at the end of the day we're not bulldozing with it we're moving material we're raking yards with it as long as we can dump in our dump trucks you know i guess the biggest thing would be no downtime i'm i'm really hoping i got a good machine here we don't have any major flaws or a lemon or some shit like that. This thing's awful squeaky here. Pretty exciting day here. I haven't told the guys. I'm sure they'll be excited about it because last year we changed hoses in that John Deere at least half a dozen times. We were broke down and trying to fix hoses and then almost every time you fix a hose or a line, it runs all the hydraulic fluid out and then you got to refill it and expensive and downtime and oil and all that jazz. So I do like these tracks. I think these will be good in the snow as well. These are pretty common in the landscaping industry. Garrett Williams, I've watched a lot of his videos and uh, I know that they run a lot of these so kind of hoping that uh if it works for him it should work for me i'm not excited about def i don't know if anybody knows if you can delete these things i would be really open to deleting it getting rid of that stuff not sure if that's possible but because actually now we have zero equipment that takes def i don't i don't even buy it so we're gonna have to start buying it now not a huge deal we'll get through it uh, the one thing i do hate about bobcat is these handles right here are absolutely stupid mini loader has them we just cut them off i don't know in the very slight chance that you break that hose and you can't unhook that that would be kind of nice but whenever you're trying to hook up to forks or something or it sticks out a little bit those things are annoying junk so we're gonna cut those off take a torch to a brand new machine we'll definitely be getting some video of this machine i'll be letting you guys know what i think about it we're gonna get some custom stickers made say pagel services down the arm i usually design them i have a print company that prints them off and then i install them we're gonna try and get it to match the mini excavator that i did a couple of years ago we'll get some video of this machine working and i'll tell you what i'll give you guys an honest review if it's a pile of shit or it's underpowered or whatever i'll tell you straight feel like it's gonna be a little laggy a little gutless compared to that big johnny deer but take some lose some i don't know we'll let you know but i'm gonna go drive this bitch around since i've never even drove one test drive done and i gotta tell you right now this track system the suspension on this thing i don't know why it took so many years for these companies to start doing this but that is amazing like you can run right down the blacktop and it's smooth as silk like in that thing you're like Argh. whole cab shaking that's awesome no doubt i don't know what the f this thing's doing it's making some weird noise oh well, must have heard me now quit one problem i do see already brand new machine and when you're driving this thing here this panel rattles vibrates makes noise 
Come on, Bobcat. Let's spend a little extra money and make a nice seal there or something or some foam padding so that doesn't rattle. Everything else is super quiet in the cab. And then you just got this one thing just rattle, rattle, rattle. I'll probably fix that. I'll put something in there so it doesn't do that. After I talk that big game about Richie's and being the best dealer around, they didn't fill it up with fuel for me? Come on, guys. Seriously? Whatever. But yeah, other than that, I'm happy with it. A little bit of size comparison next to each other. I mean, this is just a little bit smaller. It's kind of hard to tell because that one's jacked up. Backup camera I'm pretty impressed with. That works good and has a nice view. Should be a good machine. Definitely let you know this old girl here, she's uh, she's definitely put some hours in and uh, rolled some coal. This one does smoke and new one ain't gonna smoke. We'll probably uh, get the windows tinted, stick her up make her part of the Pagel Services team here. And next week we have three jobs that we're gonna be using that on, so it's gonna get put to work right away. the verdict how's she running oh, i like it a lot it's a good machine never really been a fan of bobcat uh, until we bought that mini excavator and the mini loader but uh so far i'm pretty impressed with it this thing rides way better seems like it's got a lot more control than that john deere i had that was also a 10 year old machine it handles this attachment really well this is a little bit smaller than the john deere we had the big track machine a little bit smaller so i was kind of worried about that but it seems to be doing everything i needed to do i'm gonna get my ass back to work here i gotta clean up this parking lot regrade it all and then that parking lot i pretty much got it all regraded just gotta final grade it do some power brooming down here i got eric and holly coming down and then this place will be all cleaned up and ready to go so on to the next job call it a day here i just spent about five hours in that pig and i'll tell you what i'm pretty happy with her uh definitely putting her to work not afraid to use it so as much as it costs i'm gonna put her right in the dirt and get her dirty and make some money with her uh like i said before super impressed with the ride on the bobcat here the, also the bobcat buckets are really nice i don't know if bobcat actually builds them but they're definitely beefed up been pretty impressed with this track pattern as far as traction and stuff like that i don't know i guess the cooling fans stay on after you shut it off for a while i don't really know must be hot i don't know pretty impressed with it i got this parking lot all graded out over here i got that one all graded out over there and widened it out uh, they're just storage units so i didn't really want to spend a lot of money i could use about five more loads of gravel here but they just wanted to kind of clean it up do some maintenance here that's going to be it for this video guys uh you're going to want to stay tuned for the next couple weeks we've got some pretty big news coming super excited about it we've been uh thinking about this for about the last two months and i finally pulled the trigger and we are gonna do something pretty crazy make sure to stay tuned it's gonna be quite the change for pagel services but we're gonna do it thanks for watching see you guys in the next one